Hi and welcome back to Roland the Robsons. This week we're going to take on the start of our summer adventure 2023. However, as you can see, there is no caravan. And at the moment there's no motorhome, no campervan, so we're just taking the car. And everything is crammed into the boot. We haven't even got with us a roof box, which may prove to be a good thing or not so good thing. Good thing, lots of petrol saved, all the faff of putting it on, taking it off, keep getting up every day. Um, but we're going to do things a bit different this year, so you need to come and see us. And if you haven't already, subscribe and you can watch our adventures. So we're taking a pit stop, we're taking a pit stop at Blythe Services, a place for being quite a few times. But then, as we're coming into Blythe Services, um, instead of going into the main bit of Blythe Services, on the left I've now got a KFC, a Starbucks and a Mackey D's. So due to the time and a bit of, uh, we're waiting around and like quite a lot of traffic because of the lot of road work's gone, we've got a bit of rain as well. Uh, I think slowed things down about 25 minutes, so what we've done instead is we're going to have tea here rather than getting to Cambridge, which is our next destination, having tea there and then getting there really late. So there's a plan instead to put a bit of Mackey D's. So we've arrived near Cambridge, you can hear next to the road, we're next to the B1049. Actually a few miles south of Cambridge and it is pretty windy here so hopefully the noise is okay. Uh, we're just booking in tonight for a travel lodge so we're literally here probably less, uh, just yeah, probably about 12 hours, maybe just under 12 hours. We're just basically here to sleep and that's it. So we're going to check in the travel lodge and I'll give you a little two in a second. Midge. Look at a, a hoover, a rubber hoover like this. Like a midge, a green midge. Let's have a look then. So how many beds you got? Three beds. Oh, I've got a big double bed. And then a single bed. And then two single beds. And a desk in the corner. With a fan. Is that your biggest fan? Then you've got a, a seat there. And a mirror over there, we've got hangers. We've got oh yeah, a mirror. We've got one bathroom, we've got... Which was the bathroom then? What's in the bathroom? We've got a shower. Ooh. We've got a bath. Ooh, and a bath. A very posh sink, isn't it? A posh sink, is it? <laughs> and a toilet. Yes. That's quite useful. And toilet rolls. It's very posh sink. It's very posh at travel on. Beautiful, thank you. So I'm actually on a different room than uh, the girls and Lucy, uh, but I'm still on the same floor to find my room. So my room actually, I thought it was good or bad, it's on the opposite side in the same floor, which will be good for a bit of peace and quiet. Um, I'm gonna get my laptop in a bit and watch a bit of YouTube. And you know, if you're a YouTuber, you have to watch a bit of YouTube in there. So I'll give you a quick tour of my room as well, which is two, three, four. Nope, 209. 212, keep going. I literally think I am at the other end pretty much of the hotel from the girls. Same floor, but pretty much the opposite end. Two, three, four. And here is home sweet home for me. So, double bed, desk, which I'll do a little bit of downloading stuff in a minute to get it ready. Window, nothing interesting. Look like at a little beautiful view. Have we got a beautiful view here? No, oh, not the best. Not the best view, but you know, it could be worse. Uh, kettle tea. I'll have a brew in a second, have a cup of tea. Oh, well, it's after eight o'clock. And then in here, oh, I don't have a bath. So I could have had a cheeky bath, but just a shower. I have to get up early in the morning. Because tomorrow we are getting the Eurotunnel. Um, and we have to be there an hour before as well. Uton's at 10.20, we have to be there at 9.20, and I think it's about three hours from here, so I'll be leaving here about six o'clock in the morning. And apparently my friends just said that the ferry is backed up because of bad weather, and that could be a three hour delay. So hopefully they don't stack all of the lorries on the M20 do from time to time, because that could cause a bit of a chaos. But hopefully we get there, good time, and then we can get on to the Eurotunnel in 35 minutes, we'll be there. So I'll catch you later, and I'll uh, give you a little update what we're doing in a little bit. 
just popped along to Tesco's. There's a local Tesco, about four, five minutes walk here. Um, just bought a couple of bits and pieces, a bit of breakfast and more, because we're leaving before uh, breakfast starts, which is a shame. We have to leave here about seven o'clock to get through to Calais uh, for about 9.20. So I'm just going to do a few bits and pieces on the laptop, get sorted, get the bed, and then it's an early start tomorrow. And then we're going to cross the tunnel and then the channel in the tunnel. And then we're going to go on to our next destination. So stay with us and good night. Good morning. Um, decent night's sleep, went quite well. It's a bit noisy with the uh, busy road and all the trucks trundling past, but it is what it is. So up now, just after six o'clock, and our aim is to leave here at about seven. Two hours to you until that should get us there about nine. Uh, we've left a little bit of content to because we have to get there at 9 20. So it's going to go head off, see the girls, make sure they're up, make sure they're getting ready, have a cheeky bit of breakfast, and then off we go. So just about to leave, and Martha says, Can we take the milks? Your kids take the milks out of the hotel room. I always did. Well, I've got a pocket full currently. But milk, you wish tea to drink and drink? Okay, fair enough. Right, on the Euro tunnel. So we arrived at the tunnel, and when we got here, got here oh, about 30 minutes early and we need to check in, hope we get an early one, and then got told, oh by the way, there's a 30 minute delay, and then we've been in the centre, and then there's another 30 minute delay, so it's an hour delay, so the part of the point of getting the tunnel is it saves us an hour over the ferry, but today it's actually not, it's going to be exactly the same, which is a shame, but it is what it is, so hopefully it is just an hour delay, so rather than leaving at 10.25, we're going to leave it at 11.25, which then we get the fans at 12.25 so by the time we get down to Rouen we'll be able to check in pretty much straight away and have a wander around the place. This is the thug life um, so you couldn't move but nobody got beefed at they just gave a dodgy look and walked away this is so funny definitely approve of this the beer disposal squad been an ordeal. It's now nearly two hours after we were meant to get. We were meant to get the 10.24, it's now nearly after 11 o'clock, so we've been actually at the Eurotunnel for three hours. Uh, we got here at nine o'clock, it's been a nightmare, Eurotunnel have been sackless. Um, they've been opening like the wrong lanes, people have in the wrong numbers have been, like T's been going early. Um, they've been opening like lane one every time and letting them more through then not letting us through at all. And we've actually paid for the higher carriage bit because we were going to have the roof box. We haven't actually got it in the end, but we've paid for that, and they've still put it in a small section. So I don't know if you can see. But then, on our car, the boot hits the ceiling here, so not great. Now we've tried Euro Tunnel twice, and I know it's only 35 minutes, but both times we've been delayed an hour last time, two hours this time, and they don't really seem bothered at all about the fact that you've been delayed this long. No offers of compensation, I think really not very impressed. And Lucy's definitely not impressed. So I don't know whether we'll do the Euro Tunnel again in the future. It is a Wednesday, it's not like it's a mega, sorry, a Thursday, not like a mega busy day, but really, really poor start the whole day Euro Tunnel, and we're not very impressed. Now in France. Five, two, seven, five, four, three, four, three. There you go, for the I call the door opens. Oh, I get the top one. This is one room. 
We arrived at our hotel, which is an F1 hotel, and it was pretty cheap, 92 euros, I think it was, yeah. for two rooms. Uh, it's a bit basic. So basic, you have to make your own bed. In fact, all three beds. Um, next door in the twin, the double room, that bed's made with us, but in the single room, you have to make your own beds even to get your money. We'll see how this choice goes. So since I told you last, we've just been chilling because we are absolutely knackered from that big drive. Well, we got up, well I got up about six o'clock and then we didn't get into Rouen until about six o'clock as well, maybe just before. So it had been a very long day. We had chilled out, had a bit of pizza from next door. Um, pretty good actually, I thought it was all right. It was 24 euros originally for this large pizza, but because we didn't take it, we ended up with 13. And now it's got something a bit more healthy from little, because I'm trying to be good and trying to get myself a little bit fitter. Um, Really interesting, I was thinking, is that when you're in England, you can't really open these windows because of safety, and that's a fair cop. And there was a retainer on it, but the retainer you can take off quite easily, and it's a bit of a drop. You can probably see there, it is quite a drop down the next level. So our plan is, we're going to have a bit settle, we're going to go to bed, I'm going to do a bit of editing, and then we're going to get up early-ish tomorrow, we're going to pop into Ruin, and then hopefully we can leave the car here, and then when we get back from Rouen, we're going to then drive down to our next stop. But for now, it's good night for me, and I'll see you tomorrow. So we managed to get out quite early actually, quite first by us. We got out at half nine rather than ten like we were originally thinking. Uh, we're just getting the car locked up, um, and then we're going to walk down to take you into Rouen. Uh, we have to get the bus. We decided to take the bus rather than take the car because obviously Rouen was interesting driving yesterday. Fine. Just don't really want to get my car smacked at the start of the trip. So we'll get the bus and that'll make things a bit easier. Well then. We just got off the uh, Bendy bus. You don't see them anymore in England, you really see them in London, and you see them a little bit near us in the Met Centre. So we've got off the Bendy bus, and we're now going to have an explore. We've kind of hedged our bet where to get off, so hopefully, towards the right bus stop to get off. Let's have a look. Behind me we have the Cathedral Notre Dame, which is originally this end here, or bit of this first section here, it was built in 1906, you can see from the kind of uh, how green it is, but the detail on the front of it is absolutely gorgeous, but like lots of cathedrals in France, over time they build and build upon them. Let's go have a look. Scuffed it into the crucifix, but uh, I think many French cathedrals are beautiful and very well
Did you hear there's actually bullet holes that will happen during the war where they have been shot and thrown in more recently? Seems that every time we come to a French town or city, Olivia has to find a carousel. It's not a traditional carousel, but still a carousel nonetheless. So we're back now from Rouen, had a great day. Um, it's just started to rain here. Something that we don't often get in France when we've been in France. We've only had it rain a couple of times, it started lashing down. Got back, we're going to have a few sandwiches and then we're going to head off and we'll catch you guys in the next one when we take our next step on our French tour. So come back and watch us next week.